Record rules enable you to automate workflows by setting rules to be triggered when a form is submitted. To demonstrate how you can use record rules in your app, we will lay out the structure for a simple task management application. In our task management app, we have four tables. Users, which will be the table we store our users who will log into the application. Tasks, to hold all our jobs. Notes, to track additional notes and comments relating to each job and logs for logging and tracking certain changes in the app. Every task will belong to a user, every note will belong to both a user and a task, and our logs table will not belong to any other table. Now let's go through a few scenarios to illustrate some of the different options available in record rules. Say every time we add a task, we want to track when the task was added and which user added the task. We could do this manually inside the form with those fields, or we could use record rules to automate these steps. To accomplish this automation, we go to the record rules in the tasks form. From here we can choose update this record and set the task added at field to the current date and time. Then we can set the task created by field to the autologed user. Now every time a task is added, these two fields will be filled dynamically through record rules. Another scenario where we might use record rules would be when adding a note for a particular task. This would be set up in the record rules of the add notes form. We would create a rule to update the connected task record to set the last comment made at field to the current date and time. We could also set the last note status to the form value of note status. Now, when viewing the list of tasks, you can immediately see the details about the last note. Aside from updating records, we can create rules to insert additional records. Suppose whenever we add a task to make a video, we'd like a connected note to be inserted as well. We can accomplish this using the insert connected record action. And by adding a condition, we can ensure to only insert a connected note if the task type is make a video. Now we can set the note details to a custom value of our choosing. We can also add multiple action rules as needed. Now, when a task to make a video is created, a new connected note will be inserted with it. Finally, we can also insert non-connected records, which can be useful when keeping a log of changes or edits in your app. For example, when a user's profile is updated, we could add a rule to insert a new record in the logs table to see the changes. We can set the name to logged in user field's name. We can set the date and time field to the current date and time, the email to the logged in user field's email, and type to the custom value of updated profile. When a user makes a change in the profile, we will now be able to keep a log of when these changes were made and by whom. One final note, using a non-connected log table can often be useful since all the values will be static. They will not be affected if the records from the table they are tracking get edited or deleted.